Hi, I'm Mim Beam. I'm a naturopath and a breathing coach. Today we're going to be talking about a yoga breathing technique or pranayam called alternate nostril breathing or Nadi Shadana. Basically it's breathing in and out alternate nostrils. So I'm going to talk you through a little exercise but before I do that I want to tell you about the benefits of this particular technique because it's very very interesting. Basically, when we breathe in through the right nostril, we're activating the sympathetic or the flight and fight response. When we breathe in through the left nostril, we're activating the parasympathetic or the rest and relax response. When we breathe in through the right nostril, we're activating the left hand brain. And that's the, I guess, the, the uh, logic brain, the methodical brain, the intellectual brain. When we breathe in through the left nostril, we're activating the right hand side of the brain, which is more emotional, more creative. So you can see that, that wonderful um, synergy of, of activating both parts of the brain. The other thing, and this is kind of a, a buteco theme, is that because you're breathing in only one nostril at a time, you're halving the amount of breath. And in buteco parlance, that's reduced volume breathing. And the outcome of that is you're going to increase your carbon dioxide. And that's a good thing. Increasing carbon dioxide will, via the Bohr effect, uh, release more oxygen to the body, including the brain. It also relaxes smooth muscle, smooth muscle of the blood vessels, so that helps with blood circulation, can help lower blood pressure. Smooth muscle of the gastrointestinal tract, so that might help with constipation or diarrhea or IBS or even reflux. Um, also uh, smooth muscle of the respiratory tract, which can help with sinus and also asthma. So I've got all of those benefits going on. And the other thing about carbon dioxide is it does switch on that, what I mentioned before, the parasympathetic nervous system. So I've told you all the benefits, let's try it. Now, you don't have to get fancy, but the traditional way of doing it is blocking the right nostril with the right thumb. So it'll be opposite for you. And the left nostril with the left ring, ring finger here. Now these two fingers, they can be between the eyebrows. So I'm going to show you, then I'm gonna talk you through a minute or so. So blocking the right nostril, breathe in through the left. Block the left, breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right, block the right, breathe out through the left. That's what it looks like. All right, so let me talk you through it. Blocking so your mouth is closed, your back is straight. You can do this lying down, you can do this standing or seated, but just make sure that that spine is straight. Blocking the right nostril, breathe in through the left. Block the left, breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right, block the right, out through the left. In through the left, block the left, out through the right. In through the right, block the right, out through the left. In through the left, block the left, out through the right. So continue going at your own speed, at your own pace, whatever feels comfortable. So watching that thin stream of air as it enters and leaves the nostrils. If you feel comfortable, I'm going to ask you to pause at the end of each exhalation. So pausing until you feel you need to breathe in again. This should only be comfortable. This should only be relaxing. So you're breathing in, Breathing out and pause at the end of the out breath before you breathe in through that nostril again. Keep going. So do you notice you feel warmer? Do you notice there's more saliva? Shoulders are relaxed, belly soft and the spine is straight. Alternate nostril breathing can be done for a few minutes at a time. 
even 10 minutes. Just notice the breathing slower, slow. Feel that you're able to increase the amount of time with the pauses and enjoy the benefits. See you next time.